would like to present the uh, bit array package for Python. The source code is up on GitHub under uh, my account, Elon Schnell. And then bit array is the project name. It's also on um, PyPI, the Python package index, the G shop. The project uh, started four and a half years ago when I was already a Python programmer, but I wanted to learn more about the internals of how is Python actually working? How does the C code of Python look like? And uh, to do that, um, to understand better what is going on on the C level, I wrote uh, BitArray, which is a um, C extension to Python. And the idea is that a bit array object behaves just like a list object and every element in the list is a bit. It's either true or false and it only takes up one bit of actually physical memory. If you think about a list with uh, true and false um, values and you're on a 64-bit machine, each of these elements will take up a pointer, which is like 64 bits on a 64-bit machine. And in that case, bit array is 60 times more memory efficient and you can store much more data. It also has some, here's the, <coughs> the feature list. Um, you can pickle uh, bit array objects, you can um, can you speak up, please, uh, oh, the microphone? yes, um, you, you can pickle bit array objects and it's quite easy to install. There's a documentation here. Each um, bit array object also comes with its own bit NDNS, um, which can be either <coughs> big or little, and um, that's NDNS on the bit level, meaning how are the bits actually represented in one byte of memory. And then <coughs> um, it also supports the uh, Python buffer protocol in Python 2.7. So you have direct uh, access through the memory representing your bits through the uh, buffer protocol. And um, you can do variable fixed length um, encoding, for example, Hoffman encoding. Um, and here's uh, the reference. It has <coughs> some examples. There's an examples directory. One example that I would like to briefly mention is the uh, Bloom filter. This is all it takes. About 30 lines of Python code to implement a Bloom filter using the bit array. And the way this works is, I don't know who has heard about Bloom filters uh, before, but uh, there's a good uh, Wikipedia article about Bloom filters and uh, this is a very straightforward um, implementation once you have these bit, bit arrays. You can, with Bloom filters, very efficiently um, <coughs> like f filter keys um, that map to a bit array. Um, yeah, this is about all I uh, have to say right now. Thank you for your attention.